Welcome to another example on how to solve a second order homogeneous Cauchy Euler equation. We want to solve 4x squared y double prime plus y equals zero. So the first thing we should recognize is that we have a second order homogeneous differential equation and that it's also a Cauchy Euler equation because it fits this form here. Where for each term the degree of the coefficient is equal to the order of the derivative. So for example, looking at the first term, the coefficient has degree two, the term also contains the second derivative. Looking at the second term, we have x to the first, so the degree of the coefficient is one, and the term also contains the first derivative. The third term is a constant times y, and again it's equal to zero, making it a homogeneous differential equation. So because it fits this form, we can use this auxiliary equation to help find the general solution, where the values of a, b, and c come from the differential equation. So looking at our differential equation, notice that a would be equal to four. There's no y prime term, so that means b is equal to zero, and c is the coefficient of y, so c is one. So now using the auxiliary equation, a m times the quantity m minus one, plus b times m plus c equals zero, We'll substitute the values of a, b, and c, and then solve the quadratic for m, and then based upon the nature or types of solutions, it will affect the form of our general solution. So for the next step, we would have four m times the quantity m minus one. This would be plus zero m plus one equals zero. Let's go ahead and clear the parentheses here. We'd have four m squared minus four m this would be zero plus one or just plus one equals zero. Looks like this is going to be factorable. So we'll have two binomial factors. And the first terms must come from the factors of four m squared. Let's try two m and two m. The second positions must come from the factors of positive one so that the sum of the inner product and outer product would be negative four. So because we want a sum of negative four, we'll have to use the negative factors of positive one, so we'll have minus one and minus one. The inner product is negative two m. The outer product is also negative two m, giving a sum of negative four m. So we factored this correctly, but notice how we do have two equal binomial factors, and therefore we'll have two real equal roots, which means this product is equal to zero when two m minus one equals zero. Adding one and dividing by two, we have m equals one half, which means m sub one and m sub two would both be one half. So because we have two real equal roots to our auxiliary equation, the form of the general solution will be in this form here. Notice how the second term does have an extra factor of natural log x. So for a quick review, remember if the auxiliary equation had two distinct real roots, this would be the form of the general solution. But in our case, because we had two real equal roots, this would be the form of the general solution. And then finally the third case is if m sub one and m sub two are complex roots in the form of alpha plus or minus beta i, this would be the form of the general solution. So going back to our case, the general solution, y of x, is going to be equal to c sub one times x raised to the power of one half plus c sub two times x raised to the power of one half times natural log x. So again, it is important to be aware of the three cases when finding these solutions to the auxiliary equation of a Cauchy-Euler differential equation. I hope you found this helpful.